So the most important thing is to demonstrate your KPIs, your achievements, and ROI. One, because you're going to get hired at a certain level, and they want to know what efficiencies are you going to bring to the company. Are you going to help the company increase revenue by optimizing some model or analyzing campaigns? Are you going to be able to save money by creating some uh, time efficiencies, such as maybe adding like Excel documents to a database that saves time and creating some recurring queries that send this data out by email. Things like that really show the company that you're able to save them money. That goes into skills. So skills are very important because you are going to be able to have to demonstrate that you're able to complete some of the projects and tasks that you're given. So you want to make sure that you highlight what skills you're able to use because companies see that as an opportunity cost because they know in order for you to do certain projects there may be time for you to ramp up and if your skill level is high that ramp up time is lower software is very important one because companies have invested thousands even millions of dollars in certain software architecture they want to make sure you're familiar and able to use these types of software of course Things like Power BI and Tableau are visualization softwares that companies have long-term contracts with. Some companies have ETL tools that they want you to use. So that software is very important. Of course, if there's certain database technologies, highlighting that you're able to do that is very important. Bullet points are super important. One, because bullet points help a human being quickly scan and identify what you're trying to communicate. So that saves time and, and make sure they don't miss the important things that you're highlighting. Two, it also helps that you're able to have bullet points because these CV parsers and some of the programs that actually score your resume are helped by using these types of structures such as, such as bullet points. They may be pulling out keywords and all kinds of things and bullet points help if even if you are sending your CV to a company, they are able to parse it and create a PDF based on your CV. Projects are important, but I think projects are important if this project can be tied to your actual role in a company. Yes, we can all create projects and put them on GitHub. However, you will be given projects in a company. For example, you may be given a dashboarding project. Um, you want to show how you were able to save time by and find insights that save money by creating this dashboard. You want to show how if your project was to get a bunch of sources and create a database so that data is secured and it saves time, you want to be able to put a revenue figure on that. How much time you were able to save and you can calculate that. And certifications in education are important because a lot of times that companies can't hire you unless you have a certain degree or certification and sometimes certifications help companies if they have a number of people who are certified in a certain technology get discounts or benefits from that. So let's dive into the CVs and look for some of these things that we can highlight. All the CVs are going to be pretty fair and good CVs. I didn't pick out any bad ones. And I've also made sure I redacted any personal information. So let's get started. So this is a what I would consider a pretty fair resume. The first thing I would look at as a hiring manager, uh, where are the KPIs? Where have they saved time? And if I skim this, I can kind of quickly see, oh, there's a KPI here where this person delivered their projects uh, within budget. Uh, that doesn't really help me because I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Is that saving money? Uh, is there some benefit there? Of course, it's a good thing. They have another KPI here where they have, they were able to rank opportunities. Okay, is there a dollar sign we can add to that? I think that would be a really good way to make this resume pop. I can see there's career history here, but the relevant experience is also listed here. So I think this is maybe can be eliminated. Um, there's another KPI here, reducing reporting time by 50%. I think this is a great KPI. 
I would find a way to pull this out and make this a little bit better. Where can we add some revenue benefits? That's always good. Let's look at another resume. It is a much better resume in my opinion if I was scanning through this. I, I like that it's mostly bullet points and I can quickly look through and see there's a project. So I, if I were scanning this, it's the first thing that would grab my eye and I can see dollar signs and dollar signs always are something that are going to get noticed on a resume. And you can see that there is a KPI here where this person is being able to free up time worth $62,000. So from the first CV, we can see that this person has been able to add a revenue figure and you can calculate how much time you are paid and apply that to time savings if you don't actually have a firm revenue figure. So I think this is a great CV. You can see the software that they have. Everything is in bullet points. We can see all the skills that are listed here. If I was a hiring manager, I would definitely want to speak to this person. Here's another CV. I think it's very successful. The person has listed their skills here at the top very succinctly. Here are all the different softwares and skills that they have, which I immediately grabs my eyes. It's in bullet points. I can quickly go down and see that there is a KPI where something has reduced. 200,000. So this person has reduced marketing spend by 200,000. That means if they were hired at $100,000, they have already added very good ROI to the company. They also have more things that they've listed here with the skills and the software that they're using. If I go over to the next page and I zoom in, I can see that this person has also added KPIs here where they've able to increase traffic by 25%. They have a, a ROI that they've been able to improve. Um, even though it's not a, a dollar sign, they were able to get a 40 to one compared to an 80 to one. There's also another dollar sign that has caught my eye where they say they've realized a certain amount of money in a period of time. I would also really want to speak to this person. This is also, I thought was a good one, they have their skills listed here very succinctly. They have, they've generated insights which help reduce loss. And you can see there's a dollar amount there. They've already guaranteed that they are worth their weight in gold. They have their KPIs listed here and they have their project listed here, which I really like um, that they were able to add these. It is, it's, the dollar signs will always catch my eye and also the percent signs. For this one, just very wordy and hard to see. It's hard for me to pull out information very quickly. So if I'm looking at 100 resumes and I'm scanning through it, this will take me the most time. There are KPIs here. You can see there's dollar signs and percent signs um, that will help someone identify a scan and the software and education. This is not a bad one by any stretch of the imagination. I just find it very hard to read. So this is just a quick way to show you how good CVs will look. If you want this series to continue with some good, bad, and ugly CVs or, or on a live improvement of a CV, please let me know and leave a comment below. Thank you.